In this video, we're going to look at reciprocal graphs. A reciprocal graph is a graph in the form y equals k over x, where k is a constant, such as 5, 7, minus 2. Uh, we're going to draw the graph y equals 1 over x to begin with. So I've created a little xy table, and I've chosen some values for x. So let's work that out. So 1 divided by x. So 1 divided by 10 is 0 0.1. 1 divided by 5 is 0 0.2. 1 divided by 2 is a half. 1 divided by 1 is 1, 1 divided by 0 0.5 is 2, and 1 divided by 0 0.1 is 10. And 1 divided by 0, you can't do 1 divided by 0, divided by 0 is undefined, so you'd get then um, on your calculator a math error, um, here we don't have a value. So, uh, let's then plot those points, so 10 across 0 0.1 up, 5 across 0 0.2 up, and so on, and you should end up with something that looks like this. takes that ship. So what you'll notice whenever you plot it is that it approaches the x-axis. Now remember, it will never actually reach the x-axis because 1 divided by 100, 1 divided by 1,000, 1 divided by a million will always give you a 0 point something answer, okay? So we'll never actually reach zero. I mean, it'll get very close, it'll always approach it. Um, and whenever you divide by decimal numbers like 0 0.1, 0 0.01 and so on, it'll get very, very uh, large. Um, so again, it'll approach the y-axis. So it'll look something like that. Let's now draw, do the other side. So one divided by 0 0.1 would be um, minus 10. One divided by 0 0.5 would be equal to minus two. One divided by minus one is minus one. One divided by minus two is minus 0 0.5. One divided by minus five is minus 0 0.2. And one divided by minus 10 is minus 0 0.1. Again, whenever you plot those, you're gonna get something that looks like this. Okay, so it looks like this. You'll have these two lines, the y-axis and the x-axis, it approaches those, but it never reaches them. That's called an asymptote. So these are called asymptotes, the y-axis. Remember the equation for the y-axis is x equals zero. And also the x-axis is an asymptote, and that's equation is y equals zero. So they're called asymptotes, those lines that the graph approaches, but never reaches, okay? Uh, so that's what the graph 1 over x would look like. If you were to do 2 divided by x, well, if you do 2 divided by 0 0.1, you get 20. 2 divided by 0 0.2, you get 4. 2 divided by 1 is 2. So what happens is your answers would be doubled, so the graph would just move further out. So here's a typical question that might look something like that, where you've been asked to sketch 2 over x and 4 over x on the same diagram. So what you would do is you would just sketch your 2 over x. These are very bad diagrams. That's a 2 over x. Well, not too bad. And you'd also draw your 4 over x on the same diagram, and you would just try to show that 4 over x is further out than the. Actually, that's not very good. I'll do that but again. Uh, you just sort of show that your 4 over x is further out than your 2 over x. Okay. So we've drawn a graph in the form of y equals 1 over x, or y equals k over x, where k is a positive number. So I've done 1 divided by x, 1, uh, 1 divided by 10, 1 divided by 5, 1 divided by 2. Well, what would happen if it was y equals minus 1 over x? Well, let's have a look at an xy table for that. So x, y. Uh, let's just start off with the positive side. So 0, 1, or 0, 0 0.1, 0 0.5, 2, 10. 1, 2, 10. Okay, well minus 1 divided by 0, again, is undefined, so that y-axis will still be an asymptote. Minus 1 divided by 0 0.1 would be minus 10, so that would be down here somewhere. Minus 1 divided by 0 0.5 would be minus 2, so it would be there somewhere. Minus 1 divided by 1 is minus 1, minus 1 divided by 2 is minus a half, and minus 1 divided by 10 would be minus 0 0.1. Notice that it, is, it looks the same, but it's in the other quadrant, so it would look something like this, okay? Likewise, doing the negatives, if you had your table and you had minus numbers, remember negative divided by negative is a positive. So what would happen is it would look something like this. So, if you've got y equals k over x and you've got a positive number, so just say for instance y equals 1 over x, or so y equals 10 over x, the graph will look like this. 
where it's in this quadrant and it comes down and approaches the x-axis and likewise it's in this quadrant whenever x is negative and it'll approach the x-axis whenever it's negative something like y equals minus 2 over x or y equals minus 1 over x then it would look like this it'd be in the over quadrants because remember a negative divided by a positive is a negative and a negative divided by a negative is a positive okay so to recap a reciprocal graph is something in the form k over x the graph whenever it's positive will look like this the x-axis and the y-axis are asymptotes because it will never actually have a value at those particular points and if the number is negative on the top line then it'll be in the upper quadrants so it'll look like that and finally if the number is larger on the top line it'll be further out because whenever you do 